Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. My name is Lorene. We come together for a devotional thought on this Monday, December 21st, from the word of our Lord and prayer. Let's begin by gathering in the name of our God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For years at Christmas time, many have enjoyed the classic Frank Capra film, It's a Wonderful Life. Based on the 1943 short story, The Greatest Gift, this film warms our hearts with the inspiring lesson that life is precious. These, re these reflections pair God's word with powerful scenes from the life and times of the film's central character, George Bailey. We begin our devotion time today by hearing from the word of the Lord through the prophet Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 6. A little child shall lead them. While the world is surely wondrous, it is also filled with many dangers. People and all creatures alike hide and seek shelter from their predators. But Isaiah speaks of a peaceable kingdom that will come, which will bring the reign of God upon the earth. And in the midst of it will be a child, one who will reign over all, who shall bring an end to all hurt and harm and violence, who will wipe the tears of all who have been afflicted and oppressed, and who will lead us all in the path of love, hope, joy, and peace. In a brief interaction, we see the calming effect of a young child. George is clearly distraught, but he hugs and kisses his youngest child, Tommy, holding him close to his tearful face. Perhaps George thinks he will never see this child and his family again. But the real gift, the lovely humor, is how the child covers George's head with tinsel, icicles of Christmas. Like George's apologies to the whole family that will come later, this interaction provides a moment of peace in the midst of all the threats of danger. As caring parents, we might seek to shield our children from the threatening dangers of this world. There is no place for a child, but the child who comes for us in the midst of our places and even our no places sprinkles Christmas upon us and chases the danger away. Let's pray together. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, thank you for being in the midst and for the covering us with your peaceable reign, in whose name we pray, in Jesus the Christ, amen. Concerning our weekly prayer calendar, Lord God, Almighty, Lord God Almighty, we pray for those who are sick and their families. Heal and comfort them and bring them through these difficult days. In the name of our great physician, Jesus Christ, we commend all who are in need of your healing hand May they know your mercy and declare your praise. Amen. And so we go in the bond of Jesus among us, in his peace and living in the steadfastness of his spirit within us. During these days of Advent, we pray through the hymn, Savior of the nations, come, for you are the Father's Son, who in flesh the victory won. By your power, mighty power, make whole for our, all our ills of flesh and soul. Glory to the Father, sing. Glory to the Son, our King. Glory to the Spirit, be now and through eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. Merry Christmas, everyone, and God bless.